This is a tutorial on the root test, a technique which allows us to check for convergence of certain series. We start by stating the root test. Suppose we have given a series such that the limit as n tends to infinity of the absolute value of a n raised to the power 1 over n exists, and we call this limit rho. Here the value for rho may be some finite real number or plus infinity. Depending on which value rho takes on, we will be able to tell whether or not our series converges. We have. If rho is less than 1, then the series converges. If rho is greater than 1, then the series does not converge. In the case where rho equals 1, the test is inconclusive. That means the series may converge or diverge, but we just cannot tell with this particular test. The essence of the root test is to work out rho and if it exists and differs from 1, we are able to make a clear statement about the convergence of the given series. Let us look at some examples. We consider the series taken over the sequence 1 over ln of n raised to the power n for n greater or equal to 1. We need to study what happens with the sequence absolute value of a n raised to the power 1 over n. Since all sequence elements are positive, we don't need to worry about the absolute value in this case. We get 1 over ln of n to the power n and all taken to the power 1 over n. Now we bring the power 1 over n inside the fraction. Then n and 1 over n cancel each other out and we are left with 1 over ln of n. Now as n goes to infinity, ln of n will also go to infinity and thus 1 over ln of n tends towards 0. That means the absolute value of a n raised to the power 1 over n has 0 as its limit. Since 0 is less than 1, the root test tells us that our series converges. In a second example we look at the series taken over the sequence minus 2 to the power n over n cube for n greater or equal to 1. Here we have that the absolute value of a n to the power 1 over n equals 2 to the power n over n cube, all taken to the power 1 over n. Note how we lose the minus sign in the sequence to the absolute value. Next we bring the power 1 over n inside the fraction. As n and 1 over n cancel each other out, the numerator reduces to 2. The denominator can be rearranged as follows. Now as n tends to infinity, n to the power 1 over n tends towards 1, and thus we obtain an overall limit of 2 times 1 to the power 3, which equals 2. That means the limit of the absolute value of a n to the power 1 over n exists and is greater than 1. So the root test tells us that our given series does not converge. However, since all sequence elements are negative, it follows that the series diverges to minus infinity. In the last example, we consider the series over the sequence 1 minus 1 over n, all taken to the power n, for n greater or equal to 1. Next, we look at the absolute value of a n to the power 1 over n and get the following. The two powers n and 1 over n cancel each other out and we are left with 1 minus 1 over n. Now, as n tends to infinity, 1 over n tends to 0 and overall we get a limit of 1. Therefore, the limit of the absolute value of a n to the power 1 over n exists. But since this limit equals 1, the root test is inconclusive. That means we would have to apply some other method to work out whether or not our series converges.